What are you doing? Hello and welcome to <laughs> Dancing with the Stars. Hello, I'm Cindy. I'm Jack. You ready? <laughs> I'm ready to go, ready to rumble. <laughs> You thought it was 80s music. I don't think it was 80s night, was it? I, I don't think so. I don't. Yeah. I, I couldn't tell. I, I didn't know. I couldn't get the title. I apologize ahead of time. I don't think it had a title. It didn't have a title? No. It, it always has a title every week. Does it? Yeah. Okay. This week's entitled... I don't know the title. All right. I'm, well, sh- I'm shaking You're the... You're shaking I'm, it. I'm, Usually it's me. I'm shaking the camera. But if you like what we're doing here, subscribe... Tell a friend, give us a thumbs, thumbs up. up. Do a if little you, notification with yeah, a bell. We'll yeah, let you know if, when if it you comes If you don't on. like what we're doing, just tell us. Leave a comment saying, hey, I just don't like you guys. Something, no, it, say hey, thank you. I appreciate you guys taking the time doing this. Yeah, you know, yeah, something like that. You know, but anyway, <laughs> uh, we had another episode of Dancing with the Stars. We did, and we start off with Ali and Sasha doing the quick step. Yes, um, that we thought it was going to be eighties night because the music was mostly eighties night, wasn't it? Like start off like the first three or four songs were different from the eighties, wasn't it? I guess you're better with that than I am. I, um, I guess I, I just. I, I, I mean, it was a good one for her. I think she looks really good. I like the, the different coloring and the boxing and the whole thing like that and the different box. And I think, is that part of the video that, that was in that song back? I don't Take know. on me. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Anyway, um, I thought she did a good job. I mean, she's not my favorite as my grandson. Not my favorite. Not my favorite. Uh, as our grandson says, um, but it, I mean, I think she's improved every week. Don't yeah. you agree? I, I thought it was a great. I thought it was a good, really good dance. I thought okay. she did really well. I like the fact when they're in the box. I was watching to see if their timing was right, right, and their timing was right. Ooh, and interesting. I, I, and again, I don't know. I looked at this. They show a side and didn't look like you could see through it. So, right. Okay. That has to be hard to do. Yeah, I'm sure that is. You know, I would like, agree. Yep. Yep. Okay, Jack. We like got that. it. Like that. Okay, we got it. It's gonna be tough, but I, I, I thought it was. A, I thought it was a good dance. I okay. liked it. All right. Awesome. So anyway, um, what they get? Carrie Ann got an eight. Gave an eight. Len a nine. Yeah, which is and Bruno. Eight. And eight. Was that her first nine? No. No. I no, no, no. Okay. Nine, I think okay. she had nines last right, week. Again, sure. she's improving each this week. It's bugging and sticking up. Again, you know, we'll get to the who the two on the bottom were. Right. I think we were all shocked by that. But anyway, next up we have Kate and, and Pasha doing the uh, Viennese Love walk. Love it. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, if Kate doesn't make, I think she should, she's definitely in the final three. I, I agree. And if, Absolutely. And if anyone out there disagrees with me, I will fight you. <laughs> Okay. I will fight you for this. And you're a fighter. I'm a fighter. Yes. Because, I run the other way. Yeah. <laughs> but I, she, again, we keep saying it every week. I, I'm no longer shocked by her. No. I, I expect her to do well. Right. I expect her to go out right. there and give a, and get at least eights. Right. And her dances. I, I just loved everything. I love the song. It's, one, I, one, it's a Whitney Houston song. And um, then you had her story. Which, how, what, do you she, remember? What's, what movie is this from? It's from the, um, it was from uh, the Bodyguard. There you go. Good job. I thought I had you for a change. I just took a chance. You did a good job. Just guess. But I liked your story how she was, you know, working in her restaurant. You know, yeah, Beverly she Hills, was like 41. 41. You know, trying to get her break. She got her break. Yeah. And took advantage of it. And again, when like you said, we've said a thousand times. When it first started, I, got, I thought she'd be one of the first oh, two or too. three people out. I would have never thought just the, the, what, the costumes, everything about her has just looked incredible. Even her boyfriend was, was getting teary-eyed yeah, her, when she and her, was dancing. And her attitude. And, oh, like just said, a great attitude. I'm watching this dance going... She's not making any mistakes. No, she's she's. It was just, and they did it, that I, twirl thing yeah. that Lynn liked. And, yeah, and I and she has vertigo, so she said she. I guess must have been throwing up a lot. Yeah. And if you have vertigo, I had it once. It's just it is not. I've had it's, it. not it's, it's not fun. It's not fun. No, it's not fun. Um, I but had, I, I had to have my. Uh, you had to have crystals your crystals re- realigned. realigned, and I'm you not, thought the I'm guy not, was whacked. I'm not joking about that. He, no, you're not. I had my crystals realigned. Yes, you did. Um, but anyway, I thought. Um, I thought she might get a 10, but I know they can't get those out yet. But uh, she got nines across the board. Nines across the well board. And well deserved. Kate. Absolutely. The costume, everything, fabulous. You're, you're now my, you're, you, my, you're my favorite. Yes. She was a, she was a 10 in my book. That's yeah. all I have to say. That were, I, I would agree. Okay, good. If they gave her a 10, I would have said good, because I think yeah, she, she deserved, deserved it. it. I thought yeah. she she did that. Great. We're in agreement. Woohoo! Woohoo! And next up, we have Kel and Whitney doing the uh, quick step. Now, I did not like Kel's... I, didn't, dot. I, didn't like, I love Whitney's outfit. I and mean, she had polka dots on her outfit. But it was a different kind of polka dot. But I just thought it was, uh, it just didn't, it didn't. It distracted me. It, yeah, it did distract me. Yes. I, did, I didn't like. But he's getting good every week. Yeah, he's good. He's, he really he's is. Really I good. mean, he really, I mean, he was great, good from the first week. But now we're in week six. Um, and you could just see some of the ones breaking all the, away. All, but all the dancers are improving. Yeah, that's, but, but yeah. Some, but some are really starting. We yeah, said they're last really week, starting to. Some are starting to separate, separate from the Separate from the crowd, yeah. Absolutely, um, and I guess she Whitney was very upset because her her dress got she stepped on her dress and kind of I noticed a little it, she, bit. It, you did, noticed it right away. Like, oh, she stumbled. Right. Her, well, not stumbled, but her leg kind of. Yeah, went a it, it was a, way. it was a weird. Yeah, it was a weird little thing. Like she, like she's a professional, so if you really don't notice, you wouldn't be able to notice. But we were watching all those little things. But me being a professional, 
you know. Uh, watcher watch of it. Dancing with Stars? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I watched it from my couch. Okay, so there I, you go. And I felt bad for her because, you know. She was quite emotional about she it. She just was like. I, you know, it's almost like you know anything. Like you, you were, you did skating, and you know, anytime I, anytime I made a mistake in any kind of sport or anything right. like that, I can still remember. I've said this before: every mistake I've ever made, I can remember. Yeah, I, I can. I just was like, because I, I, I feel I should have made that mistake, and you see her face was like, was like I shouldn't have made that mistake. I heard, I heard our dance hmm. because he was, he was perfect. Yeah, he and, was. And like I said. She, it happened. She stepped right. on her dress and she, right. her foot kind of went yeah. like that. But anyway, I thought it was a great dance. Carrie Ann gave a nine. Lynn with the little mistake. Yeah, gave her an eight. Eight. And Bruno. A nine. A nine. Uh, next up, we have uh, Karomo and Jenna doing the... Uh, contemporary. Contemporary. His best dance. Oh, yeah. By far. Yeah. It was a, a great dance. His emotions really came out. Um, this you, is an emotional you felt it. it was an emotional, emotional night, night yeah. for a lot of people. You really felt it. You felt his feelings the whole time during the dance. Great lifts. Even the judges said how great his lifts were. Well, everything um, was, it, was, it was the perfect dance for, for him. For him. I agree. I, I really agree. Because he could just be relaxed. And and, and I think, not, I'm not saying contemporary, and I, I'm probably wrong in this. I'm not saying it doesn't have beats. But I think it's just a little different. Maybe less footwork. Yes, and you're able to do things a little differently. And I think it, w- it was definitely his dance. It, it really made him shine. Yeah, he was. He it was a great, great dance. And uh, like I said, definitely his best dance. Uh, and he's get, he's another and person improving, improving each week. Right. Maybe too little, too late, but you never know. Right. Um, but anyway, Carrie Ann. A nine. A nine. He was very excited about that. Yeah, very so excited about that. I'm trying to think. Of Lynn, he got me yawning. Lynn at eight and, and Bruno, Bruno at eight. eight. You know, it's great when you're, you're when you're watching something and the two people are yawning. <laughs> and you're hoping the audience is now the audience is like going, oh, I can't stay awake. <laughs> uh, next up, we have Hannah and Allen doing the samba. Yeah, and I, I, uh, I uh, she's a cute, she's such a cute girl. So anything she does, she looks adorable in it. Number Again, one. I keep saying they're like the perfect couple. They're just adorable. They're like they're like not Ken and Barbie, but they're they're. You look at them, you go, yeah, I can see those two together. They'd have, they'd have some good looking yes, kids. Yes, they would have some good looking kids. Um, it, it, it was all right. It was, I don't think it was it, her best it, it dance. It wasn't her best dance. No. It was kind of, it was, um, wasn't terrible. No, she, she's, God, she's, no. Because they're both good together. Right. But it wasn't like, oh, compared to the other dances ahead of her, this was definitely, as of now, it was the worst dance of, of the, the dance ones ahead of her. Yeah, I would and agree it, with you. I don't know if that's fair because, the, you know, the other three did really well. Right. But I was like, eh, you know. I just, but, but again, she's so cute. You see all that, her enjoyment about there, her enthusiasm, the way she's carrying on. I mean, you just really enjoy watching her, so you kind of overlook some of the things. Um, but she got eights across the board. Eights across the board, and I thought that was well done. Yeah, absolutely. Even if you shoot it like a seven, I was like, right. eh, okay, I, right. I could have seen that. Right. Next up, we have Sailor and Val doing the jive. Yeah, and this is the one where I'm just not seeing what the judges saw. There was, it looked, it looked a little sloppy in the beginning. Yes, I, I. She looked like she was a little off in the beginning, right? But it, once it got going, once it came down the stairs, I thought she she really caught on, really got uh-huh. going. Um, but you didn't like the. Whole I didn't dance. like the whole dance. I just there was something about it. I don't know what it was, but I just I didn't think it was nines. I just I thought it was maybe sevens and eights. I don't know why. There's something about it. I just because I watch it a little. We 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 watch it on Hulu, but I kind of do Dancing with Stars does little clips of each one of the dances, and so I kind of watch it at the time. And I thought, oh, you know, I'm watching it on my iPad. Maybe I'm just missing something. I didn't know what the, they don't show the scores, so I didn't know what the scores were. And I was like, eh, it wasn't her best dance. Eh, oh, it's not her thing. And I kind of left it at that. And I thought, oh, I'll get that out of my head. And we watch it together tonight. Just now, I thought I'll see if I'm just feeling different about it. And I still felt the same. Because afterwards, you said I I didn't like this dance. I said I saw in the beginning. I go, but once she got, like I said, once she got down, and they got going with the dance, I thought she went really well. First Hmm. couple times, she looked like she was not out of step, but she just didn't. It It didn't didn't look look right. Yeah, it just didn't match. I don't know if it was her shoes. Well, because her shoes were it. so dark, maybe you couldn't. See, I couldn't see. Yeah, her maybe feet. that was it. I don't know. I, I, don't know I, I just, I, I personally did not think it was nines from the judge. I didn't think she did nines. I had no problem with nines, right? But, but uh, she did get nines across the board. So, yes. Well, will help her. I don't know. Yes, but we'll uh, we'll anyway, see if it does or not. At this point, we're going to take a commercial break. All right, we're back. Who's up next? Uh, Sean and Lindsay doing the Vietnamese waltz. Yes, which is a hard dance. It's a hard dance. And I was like, when they when I realized what he was doing, I was like, oh, 
because they kind of just was kind of talking about before he went out for this dance. You know his stiffness. He, well, he, there was robot looks. Well, he's, his, a, he's a brick with yeah, arms. With arms. And a brick it, with arms. It, it is true. It is true. It is true. He, it is true. He, he get, but he does give a hundred percent. He does. He is giving it his all. Yes, he is. Um, Holy day. And there's a couple of spots where Lindsay <laughs> looks really beautiful, and I thought he presented her well. Like in the opening part of the uh, of the dance, the couple moves him in, and he was just spinning her around. I thought, look at him do that. That looks awesome. Well, not only that, but she, you, I, this is one time I really paid attention to her giving him directions where she was talking to huh. him. I mean, I, I, I know she's done it before, but I, I can see what she was telling right. him what to do, which is nothing wrong with that. Right. But you can see sometimes where his feet look like he's stumping all over his yeah. feet. It's really weird. Well, the, the worst part was... It's pigeon toe, so that probably helped when, when, when he went to go like this, it just looked, it looked like a brick with arms. <laughs> it, 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 so that, or you really thought that? No, I, uh, Bruno said brick right. with arms. And right. So when, when he went to, remember I said, I go, yeah. oh, that was, that was yeah. not very good. But overall. He's improved. I mean, yeah. you got to give the guy credit. I don't think he has any rhythm in his body. No. Um, he goes out there every time. He tries the best he can. And um, I give him credit for going out there. I'm, I'm surprised he's still around. Yeah, for um, a limited skill set he yes. has. Yeah. He has improved. And yes. I don't know if Lindsay has, because Lindsay's such a fa- fantastic oh, dancer. Phenomenal. Does she have to tone it down? Not to I make would say him look she, bad. I, I think she does. But you even said at one point it looked like she was holding his arm up. Yeah, because when arm. they were doing that one part when you hold it, yeah. she had, and I think you're just supposed to just, like, the lady's hands was just, just lay there. She actually had her hand, like, I mean, cupped he, around it yeah. and holding it, his arm up, so yeah. it would be more of, of that straight line straight thing. Straight line where it's not um, with the shoulders. got a flu shot, so hurting my arm. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, uh, I, I, he got sevens across the board. I thought it was well-deserved. I thought deserved. it was well-deserved. The judges, like they say, you know, he's, he, he works hard, he tries hard. You got to give him credit for that. I just can't believe he's. St- I don't know how much longer he's going to last, and he's still going to be at the top. But it is based on voting, and maybe he has a lot of people out there. He voting. must have he a lot. He does say his wife goes and texts everybody and sends the uh, tell everybody to go vote. She must because uh, he's still in it. Yes, he is. Um, but again, sevens across the board. Yeah. Next up, we have James and Emma doing the samba. My favorite dance. I thought he deserved tens. It's it's two weeks in a row. We thought he had the best yes, dance, I thought right? he, best dance. Absolutely by far the best dance he, of the night. Like I said, what did uh, Len say? Tutti Fruity, what a booty. Fruity. Yeah, Tutti like, Fruity, what a booty. What a booty. Was I said, oh, I'm going to use that on you now. Um, <laughs> and it was like Lynn saying that. And right? I was like, huh. And then Carrie went all gaga over him, too. Yeah. But um, it, it well, was Sometimes just, his hips could have a portion. Yes. But anyway, I thought he looked fabulous. Cause in the, <coughs> he looks like a dancer. He does look like a dancer. And then Emma's just a great choreographer. <laughs> um, I love the whole dance. It was my favorite dance again. The best dance of the night. If he doesn't win it, I'd be surprised. But he is really well, right, my favorite. Right now, he I would again. I, I hate to keep going back to last season, but you don't know. No, you don't. And even though <coughs> judges have some kind of um, excuse me um, input of not having that happen again, you just never know how it's going to come out. So because it's the fans voting. Yes. And what he got nines across the board, and I still thought he deserved tens. We, yeah, we thought. He I might, thought it was good. I, said, I, I thought we we're going to see a ten tonight. I said I don't know why I didn't get a ten. Yeah, but, I'm with you. Right now, if he if he it's his to lose, I would say. Yes, I would agree with you. Even though there's some other good dancers that are that are like Kate and up there. Well, he hasn't and... contemporary yet, right? He has a not dance, no, so I think I that will so. be a great one on his part. Um, next week is Halloween, which is another one of my favorite um, ones. I love to see the characters that they dress scared, up, but that one scares me. scares you. Um, so I'm like looking forward to that. I'm, what he's going to be, but I thought it was it was awesome. It was like oh. A good job, samba. James. Good, good job. job. And next up, we have Lauren and Gleb doing the last the, dance of the uh, night, contemporary. And this one, she was, was quite emotional, wasn't it, she? It was like she you, was dedicated you, to her stepfather. Yeah, and you could see in the beginning she was crying. She was trying to hold, to hold back. back from the beginning. yeah the, t- the whole time. <laughs> and you really, you really felt for her. It was a good contemporary. I still liked Karamos. I don't know if I said his name Karamos. right. Karamos, um contemporary better than hers. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know why I just did. I just thought it was better choreography um, than than Lauren's and, and Cleb's. Um, but I think what got me was the emotions that she was feeling out there. And you could feel it. The song, the letter, everything about it was just really... Like I said, it was an emotional night. There was a lot right. of people, it was a lot of crying going yes. on. And you get, get it. I mean, it's, 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 it's tough. But uh, I thought it was... I thought she... Like I said, she's... I don't think she can win it, but she's... No, she's, she's, not, she's definitely she's in the top three or there. four. Yeah, absolutely. But... Uh, Great, day. and afterwards it was like you know they you know they're they're live and they're always trying to rush it. Yeah, you think they set Gleb over there? Like, I think so. Don't you? Can you get over here? She needs to go talk. And it was, anyway. and even during the when they were talking to her, she couldn't she, talk. She, she couldn't no. keep her emotions in check, which you understand. Yeah. It means that it's an emotional Absolutely. thing. But she got a nine from Carrie Ann, an eight from Lynn, and a nine from Bruno. From Bruno. So 
That's what we had. That those were the dances, and then it comes down to the you know they do the elimination. Right. Who's safe and who's safe. And right. I, I got to be honest with you, the two people on the bottom. I was like, how how, how are those? Yeah, people I on the thought. Bottom? To, I mean, you know, you and I talked. I think we talked about this last week. Who do we think was going to go next? We thought Sean. I thought Sean or Karoma. Karoma. That's what we thought the two because basing on their on their on dances this, on, on and, how, dan- and how, how they how, they, how if you if you're going to base it on on like when we get to the part where they who goes home, they base it on. You know, not just the one week. It's how you've done the whole time. Exactly. And those two, even though they've improved, they're still who's left the bottom dancers, right? As far as I'm concerned, but the public doesn't feel that doesn't way. feel that way, and no. they and they vote. And again, it's 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 a popularity contest, right? And you just kind of kind of accept it sometimes. Right. But uh, you had Allie and Sasha and Sailor and Val on the bottom. And I'm like going, yeah, I was shocked by I that. I go because I, I, I you had already knew who it was. I yeah, didn't know I, yet, and you said you want me to know, and you told me. I'm like, really? Yeah. And after she had her best dance, yeah, the night. I'm sure that was really a disappointment for her. You know, yeah, you could tell she was disappointed. Exactly. You know, again, maybe do it backstage. Yeah, but, but she's only 21. I know. First time on stage and she, like and this, and she was emotional. She was emotional. And again, I was. I said, well, she's probably shocked. Yes. You just had your you just had your, your first best dance, nines, your best dance. Nines across the board. Right. And then you and, and, and then you and, hear that. And you could tell the judges were like going even the judges are put in the position where it's like going, Come on, I, why do I have to choose between those exactly. two when you have two other people who are got lower scores right. consistently? Well Karamo's been in there before and they picked him against somebody else. But I, again he was going against against That's true. You're, you're cutting we had what, eight nine people now? We yeah. have eight now after this. Mm-hmm. You're getting down to or <clears throat> everyone you know, it's there's not much difference between because I think Carrie even Ann even said it's the toughest competition we've ever yeah. had. Where, uh, yeah, again, because it, you don't have those ringers. Yeah, you're right. Because you were watching. Uh, oh, I I did a <laughs> uh, best of uh, Max and um, Meryl, and oh my god! I mean, I shouldn't have watched that la- the other day. I watched it, I think Sunday or something like that, and it was their all their dances. It showed all the dances on on dance. Because I was because I, I didn't watch that season, but no, I, didn't. I, I watched. I was I've seen enough of her dances, but right. I was watching when you were watching it, and, and I was I, going. I go see. She she just doesn't. She's a dancer. Yeah, she well to be a nice dancer, you take ball when dancing because it's very similar. Some of the dance, some of the moves, some of the holds. And they everything. just they just you know you have Max who's amazing, and you have yes. Meryl who's and he retired after he was done with her because he didn't think he had in front of partner as great as she was. Well, they said he he, he it was one time he came smiling to yeah. work all because yes. he's, he's a tough guy. Yeah, he is, and he's a tough to work with. And he, yeah, he's but but anyway, so it was really hard to watch these, and you could see she just you know no wonder she won. She was just by far superior. But we've been saying for a couple of weeks now that these dancers are all similar. In, yes, in, in, there was a couple that there were a couple that, that are yeah. you know you have James and you have. Kate and Hannah, who seem to be doing, you know, right. a little better than right. the other, and Kel, I forgot yeah. Kel, but uh, there's not anybody that's like, there's no Meryl in right. the rest. Right, exactly, so I would agree with you. But anyway, so Sailor went home, and she felt bad, and she was very emotional, and, and I think Val kept telling her, stop, stop, you know, yeah. suck it up. It's yeah. o- it's, I think you're saying it's okay, okay. it's okay. It's okay. But I think- and he's right, she's only 21, who knows what she's going to accomplish in life. Yeah. I think um, Kate made a great analogy, she didn't start getting doing anything until she was 41, of what she really wanted to do. Right. You, I mean, you know, we're unfortunately, we're taught at such a young age, you know, go, 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 produce, 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 and everybody, well, everybody achieves she's at different times in their life, you know? Well, you've got to look at her, you know, unfortunately, I think she's compared to her mom. Yes. And her mom was successful at a at very... Young age, many, and she's still stunning at her age. I mean, but she's but she was at the top... Right. ...of her profession... At, right. ...in her probably late teens or right. early 20s. So, uh, unfortunately for her, she's been... She's compared to her mom. Right. I mean, how could people not go, oh, your mom is Christy Brinkley. Right. And so, right away, it's like, yeah, my mom's Christy Brinkley. Yeah, exactly. I mean... Obviously, there's great things to be the you know. Yeah, there are some the, good the, things. It's all not negative. It's all negative, but I, I think that I think we just kind of go, oh, poor little baby. You yeah, know? yeah, but, yeah. But it's like, yeah, it's got to be hard when people are comparing you to someone else. True. All the time, but True. anyway, I th- I didn't think she deserved to go home. I didn't think so either. And but I, did, she I, didn't, did. I didn't want. I, I, I felt bad for her. I would have taken Allie over Sailor just because, like they said, Allie, yeah, I, I, did, Allie's I, I, been, I agree with the judges. Allie's been more consistent. Yes. Whereas Sailor started out slow and, and yeah, I, I agree. And look how far she came. She came, you know, she was in six weeks into it where she started out late. I mean, I yeah. don't know if her mother would have gotten this far. So I don't far, know. So you don't know. But anyway, it was it was a sad night, but um, it ended well. Like I said, I'm looking forward to next week and see what they're going to do with their costumes like that because it's Halloween week. It's my favorite. Woo! So I thought Disney was your favorite. Well, one of you my favorites. You gotta have right. one favorite. Ah, uh, you're right. Disney is my, this is my second favorite. My gosh. All right, sorry. Geez, drive me crazy. Anyway. Anyway. We thank you guys for watching again. Yes, thank you. Thumbs up if you're if you're listening to us on the podcast. Give us a uh, five star review. We love five star reviews. Um, uh, so everybody out in the YouTube land, thanks for listening and watching, and we'll see you soon. Yes, exactly. 
And how about you podcast people? You can help us by going, if you shop Amazon. Did anybody say anything about anything? Nope, no, I checked. No it. comments, boo. You know, uh, Sherry puts a nice little thing there on the Jane Jack she Facebook does, page. Thank you, Sherry. And we used to get comments from we people. And I thought, to, I thought for sure there'd be comments on this one, but right. no, no, no comments, no. Anyway, but if you guys like us and you shop Amazon, you know we got Black Friday coming up pretty soon. It's just right around right the corner, um, and next week, next a week from this Friday is November already, November first. I don't know how this year is going by. I, but how am I getting younger each year? I don't know. Anyway, you could go on to jandjack.com and you would just press the little Amazon there with a button. Little icon. A little icon in the corner, the right-hand corner. Click it and you'll go uh, right to your page and every little bit goes to all the podcasters uh, on our shows. Yeah, so it goes to like the broadcast. It goes to the RCAD cast. It goes to Own a Brews Barbecue. It goes to uh, everybody. the Watchmen Whoever. podcast. And of course, Dancing with, with the, the Stars. stars. Um but you if, could also be a patron, right? Go to patron, the same. Just go to jandjack.com, click the patron. Um, we thank all our patrons. There's a list yes, on there. thank you. All thank the patrons. you, everybody. But at this time, we're going to thank Tack from Paris, Eckhart Rickner gloffler Maggie the Magnificent, Joanne with a plan, uh, Ed the Creepy Letter Carrier, and Drake the Destroyer. Thanks for what you do, and thanks for everyone who listens to us. We do we really appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thank you. And that's all we got. Have a uh, see you next week. We'll talk about Halloween, right? Bye. Bye.